Space. The final frontier. Hey everybody. Happy Easter. And I'm here to tell you I found something incredible and oh it just feels so good to have it in my hands. You know I made some videos questioning space and saying how it's fake and stuff like that and how NASA basically fake space and Elon Musk's never gonna get a Mars with SpaceX. Yeah. Never gonna happen, but I found this book a little while back and I picked it up. I finally decided to read it and it has just answered all of my questions. There is nothing fake about space people. This book proves it. I suggest you get a copy of it. Okay. It's uh, N Nigel Hawke's Bird of Prey Symbolism there. Illustrated by Alex Peng. Hmm. So it shows you how this tinfoil piece of crap, sorry, this tinfoil thickness craft didn't implode in space and just shows you all of it. It's just incredible. There you go. That's all the information you need to know. Right there. That's the blackness of space. There you go. I believe space 100% this is what this video is about. Okay, because I watched, I read this book. More blackness here. There's got to be some significance there. There's one, two, three, four pages of space itself. That's not a black blank page. That's actually space itself, people. So this tells you how satellites are 100% legit. Nothing questionable in that whatsoever. It doesn't say why all satellites face south, like your, you know, your TV satellite dish. You know, face, you know, face south, you know, we'll, 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 you know, maybe, maybe, maybe in a future publish, publishing, maybe, they'll talk about that. So, it talks about the development of rockets, yeah, for the V2, all the way up to NASA's whatever. So, there we go. It's real simple. So, yeah. So, this rockets here is how they work and so on. The V2. Rocket, in World War Two, very nice, uh, very nice. Hold on, yeah, yeah, the V two rocket. Mhm. Mm it's a picture of Spug, Spun, Spun, picture of Spun, uh, Spugnet, whatever his name is. Is it Spugnet? Russia's satellite. Where's Spugnet? Is that it? Spugnet. Luna 2 Probe. Now where's Spugnet? Can't find Spugnet. Oh, where the hell, where the heck is Spugnet? Hold on a minute. Let's find Smugnet for you. Smugnet, that's a Smugnet there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm just here to tell you I believe in space 100%. Um, yeah, I've just decided, you know, just to ignore all the things that are questionable about NASA's missions in particular. And just, you know, just go with it, you know. It's real 100%. There's no need to question it. It doesn't look fake, people. Yes, Buzz Aldrin steps off of a ladder and he's basically see-through. It's just x-ray. The camera they sent up there had an x-ray capability. And they didn't even know it. You know, you can see right through Buzz Aldrin. And yes, NASA didn't broadcast a live footage, they broadcast a recording of a screen and then broadcast that away, you know, and so on. And then later on they accidentally supposedly recorded over the original footage, so all we have is what they showed us from that, you know, camera recording a screen. You know, they didn't actually give us any proper feed footage, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Look, jump in with me into the lie, sorry, the truth of NASA and their wonderful vehicles. It's got a cutaway. You can't fake real people. You can't fake real people. Yeah? Tap it. It's real like this book. Wow. Oh, incredible. Just follow, follow the, just follow it. Love NASA. Love it. 
believe that one day we can go into the stars and see other humanoids that look exactly like humans because I couldn't find anything else. Oh, it's the cheapest way to create aliens in another, you know, in another world in Star Trek and Stargate and such alike. And Stargate was named after the project to study astral projection and remote viewing by the US government. Mm, project Stargate. But don't worry about that. And don't worry about the fact that astral projection and lucid dream and all this other occult stuff that these Satanists do and uh, is coded within masonry and uh, other such things. Uh, how, you know, how that, the spiritual aspect, you know, is completely you know, incompatible with space travel as they tell us. So it's either one or the other. So, you know, all the spiritual practice is just a load of BS. Yeah. And according to them, you know, God isn't real. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. It just looks so wonderful, doesn't it? So join me in the wonderful... Why can't they turn it around and take a picture of the Earth? But don't worry about that. It's It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Where's Mars? We've got Mars yet. Mars isn't filmed on Earth, people. Come on. Even though they found light images of rodents and other earthly things. It's not recorded on an Earth desert and then they remove the blue colour to make it look red. No, of course they don't do that. Flipping crazy. Well, there you go. I believe NASA 100%. And I'll put that over there. On the burn, on the bonfire pile. Sorry, I mean on the wonderful keep books safe um, educational books pile. I'm not going to burn it on the bonfire later on. I'm going to take great care of it. Oops, I just dropped it. Anyway, NASA is real. You should use this lid here. It's broken lid. There's a backdrop here. And, uh, you know. Oh. Ow. Oh, my broken ribs. I've actually got broken ribs. Space is real. 100%. Like, comment, subscribe. Space is real. Bye for now.